my favorite places to dine is the High Bridge, and it's located in Springbrook. It is a beautiful restaurant that has great cuisine. It's fine dining in a casual atmosphere. You can get anything from a cheeseburger to some fabulous handcrafted dish. I'm here with executive chef Jeff Jason, and chef, what are we making today? Uh, we have three dishes. One is going to be a choice New York strip steak salad mm. with house-made tater tots. Wow. Uh, we also have a fresh Norwegian river salmon. Mm -hmm. I'm doing that over our hydroponic basil and spinach wow. risotto. And for dessert, since you were at the fair, I have a little <laughs> fair food. This is uh, a house cut 12 ounce New York strip steak choice. And we're going to cook it to the guest preference. I just added a little kosher salt to the steak. And today I'm gonna to grill the steak medium rare, approximately six to eight minutes. When I'm ready to build a salad, I'm gonna fry my potatoes, our house-made tater tots, and they take approximately two minutes. Nice and hot and crispy, and that's our crouton. Now, I wanted to ask you a little bit about this uh, lettuce that you have here, because it's very fresh, literally just picked, right? This lettuce was harvested this morning, fresh Boston bib, beautiful lettuce. Which is really amazing because they own Pocono Hydro Farm, so everything is fresh and freshly picked. Hydroponics is a form of farming. It started 4,000 years ago, and it's a way of growing vegetables without dirt and we have the opportunity of controlling the nutrient levels and helps the plants grow a lot faster because they're, we're giving it the nutrients that it wants that it's not looking for in the ground. Growing hydroponically is very environmentally friendly. We use a third less water than field or conventional farming. We grow different varieties of lettuces, basil, kale, herbs. We use fresh daily at our own restaurant at the Highbridge House along with other local restaurants. You can also find our products in Bill's ShopRite, in Daleville and Mount Pocono, and Ricardo's in Dunmore. Okay, Chef, we have another dish. What are we making now? We have a wild-caught Norwegian river salmon. Ooh, that looks delish. Okay. I'm gonna put it on the grill, a little bit of olive oil in our house rub. And that doesn't take very long, does it, to make the perfect salmon? Well, it depends how the guest enjoys their salmon. Some people care for little medium, medium rare. Some right. people like a well done. So I'm going to finish it with a little bit of olive oil and fresh garlic and fresh tomatoes and roasted asparagus. We have something to accompany our salmon. Yep, we have uh, spinach and fresh basil risotto. Mm. And uh, it's just about ready. I've been stirring it for the past 30 minutes. We're okay. going to add add some cream to it and finish it and serve our salmon. So how do we know when that's ready? It usually takes 30 minutes start to finish. Okay. It's and not it's... like super complicated, it's just you gotta stir it the whole time. So you that's stir for... the challenge, you have to keep stirring, you can't And uh, the more you stir it, the creamier it gets and people love a creamy risotto. Now, Chef, is this something that's available on the menu? This I made special for you. I do make specials with risotto, but it is not on the menu. Now, every good meal needs a dessert, right? <laughs> you have one for us. Well, this dish we serve for our buffets, Easter, Mother's Day buffets. I'm going to do our version of French toast with a caramel apple sauce pure cane sugar, mm -hmm. and I'm going to burn it. It's the first time you can actually burn something, and it's a good thing. <laughs> the sugar is just about ready. Great color right now, and uh, it's kind of like playing with fire. If I let it go a little longer, it's going to burn. So we add some cream to that. So I'm going to add cream to it, and it'll uh, stop the browning. So now I'm going to add a little bit of butter mm -hmm. and our fresh Granny Smith apples. Okay, that's good. I don't want to cook them too much. I want them a little bit soft, but... But not too soft, Not right? too soft. I have a champagne batter that I'm going to dip our Texas toast in. Now I'm going to fry the Texas toast. Crispy. Doesn't take long at all, 30 seconds. And right at the end, I'm going to add a little bit of crispy bacon to it, just for that sweet, salty uh, finish. Chef, thank you so much for making all these beautiful dishes for us. You're quite welcome. 
We're enjoying a little after dinner cocktail and why don't you tell the folks about the Highbridge House. We opened the Highbridge House December 1st of 2017. Mm -hmm. We did name it the Highbridge House because of the railroad bridge that was here in Springbrook Township. I like that little nod to local history. Yep. And you also offer a lot of different options here, right? Yes. Not only do we have the restaurant that's open seven days a week, but we also have the banquet hall and the six room hotel upstairs. Terrific. Thank you so much for having us today and Thank cheers you. to you. Cheers. To the Highbridge House. <laughs>